So Big Bill Barr is apparently ready to testify before the January 6th committee. I hope you'll forgive me if I'm not exactly prepared to believe much of what Bill Barr has to say. But let's talk about it because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So Bill Barr is apparently ready to testify to the January 6th committee. You'll excuse me if I don't do cartwheels over this story. Not quite yet. But here is the reporting. This from CNN. Former Attorney General William Barr tentatively agrees to give sworn testimony to January 6th committee. And that article begins... Former Attorney General William Barr has tentatively agreed to give sworn testimony behind closed doors to the House Select Committee investigating the January 6, 2021 insurrection. Barr has already talked informally to the committee, including at a meeting at his home last fall with committee lawyers and committee vice chairwoman Liz Cheney. Hmm. The meeting lasted approximately two hours, and it focused on interactions between Barr and former President Donald Trump before and after the election. The committee also inquired about Barr informing Trump there was no widespread election fraud. And following up on that last point, here is what Axios reported. Trump berated Barr repeatedly to declare the 2020 election stolen. Barr refused. Barr told Trump in a meeting on December 1, 2020, that his theories about a stolen election were, quote, B.S. Okay, technically it's not a quote because I used the initials. But why am I not dancing in the aisles over this story, this revelation that Bill Barr has deigned to speak with the J6 committee? Well, Bill Barr is a corrupt, criminal, former attorney general of the United States who did untold damage to the Department of Justice and to our democracy. And he needs to be held accountable in a court of law so that no future attorney general can ever behave this way and get away with it, period, full stop. Also, Bill Barr's credibility is lower than whale droppings. Bill Barr lied under oath to Congress when he was being questioned by then-Senator Kamala Harris about whether anybody at the White House asked him to open an investigation. Bill Barr had to grapple with the word suggest, and, and then he lied. He got frustrated. He didn't want to testify truthfully, and his answer under oath was, I don't know. That's a lie because he did know, and he should be held accountable for that perjury, more precisely for making false statements under oath to Congress. Bill Barr lied about the Mueller report. More precisely, Judge Reggie Walton, federal district court judge in Washington, D.C., found that Bill Barr spun the Mueller report, mischaracterized the Mueller report, and that Bill Barr lacked candor, Judge Walton's words. Yet Bill Barr did untold damage to our democracy. Still, he does have incriminating information that he can share about Donald Trump. He can provide sharply, directly incriminating evidence about Donald Trump's guilty state of mind, his corrupt intent, his criminal mens rea. Why? Because on December 1st, apparently, Bill Barr told Donald Trump directly, your claims of election fraud are bull. Mm. Every day moving forward from December 1, that Donald Trump said the election was stolen, it was fraudulent, stop the steal. He was lying and he knew he was lying. 
Bill Barr, his attorney general, somebody in a position to know, said it's BS. There is no election fraud undermining Joe Biden's win. Donald Trump didn't care. He lied about it, lied about it, lied about it, and then incited a crowd to attack the Capitol and try to put a stop to the certification of Joe Biden's win. So Bill Barr has directly and deeply incriminating evidence against Donald Trump. But I have to tell you, friends, the only time I want to hear any words coming out of Bill Barr's mouth is when Bill Barr is a CW, a cooperating witness. When Bill Barr has pleaded guilty to his own crimes, and as part of his plea agreement, he has agreed to provide information, truthful information, about the crimes of others, including Donald Trump. That's the only time I want to hear any, anything Bill Barr has to say. Because unless and until he's held responsible for his own crimes against the United States, his words mean nothing. Now, sure, he can testify to the J6 committee behind closed doors. He hasn't agreed to testify publicly, but maybe, maybe he'll get there when the public hearings kick off on June 9. And he's not going to be cross-examined by anybody when he's testifying or appearing before the J6 committee. And there's going to be no jury that has to decide whether Bill Barr's word is worth crediting or not. But you know what? When and if he ends up as a witness in a prosecution against Donald Trump in a court of law, his words will mean nothing unless he has pleaded guilty to and taken, taken responsibility for his own crimes and he has agreed to testify truthfully about the crimes of others. And let me just finish with this. This is why prosecutors cannot sponsor the testimony of a witness, not credibly, not effectively, unless they've prosecuted that witness for his or her own crimes. Because if you put Bill Barr up in front of a jury in a trial in which we're prosecuting Donald Trump, and Bill Barr has been given a pass by the prosecutors for all of his crimes, but we expect the jury to believe Bill Barr on the crimes of Donald Trump, the jury's going to say, Bill, you're going to say anything the prosecutor wants you to say because the prosecution has given you a pass on your own crimes. So now you have an interest in currying favor with those prosecutors all day long and saying anything they want you to say to convict Donald Trump. Why would we believe you? You haven't been held accountable for your own crimes. So yes, let him talk to the J6 committee. Let him spew out whatever he wants to spew out. But unless and until he's charged with his own crimes and he becomes a CW, a cooperating witness, not all that interested in what Bill Barr has to say, oh, he of little credibility. Let's hope he's held accountable. Let's hope the Department of Justice recognizes that a former attorney general who committed crimes, who did untold damage to the Department of Justice, my home for decades, it's a professional home, and to the United States, and to our democracy, is held accountable for his crimes. You know, this attorney general better not give that former attorney general a pass on those crimes because justice matters. Friends, as always, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.